We're very fortunate after having made our first game, Urban Chaos, to be given the opportunity to work on something as amazing as Batman. The start of the game came around because uh, actually we were working with IDOS at the time. We went to them and presented some core ideas for things that we wanted to do differently and they were basically the ideas of the Predator gameplay, um, the stealth, that we wanted to do stealth but really aggressive stealth where you felt in control. That was a big part of it that we felt that a lot of stealth games you felt like you were hiding and you were scared and we were like okay well but you can still have a stealth game where you're powerful and in control. That was kind of the fundamental idea. Also the detective side that Batman games tended to focus previously didn't focus so much on the detective side and we felt there was a kind of rich reign of showing how intelligent and prepared this guy was rather than, you know, obviously he has these great physical attributes but those were kind of the key elements of our first pitch and then it just kind of exploded from there. Do you really think you can win? When we finished Arkham Asylum, to be completely honest, we weren't a hundred percent, but you never know how it's going to be received. You just don't know how people will, you know, we knew it, we liked it, we were very proud of it, but we had the, uh, the Easter egg of the, the hint for Arkham City and the prison of Arkham City in the warden's office in Arkham Asylum, but we sort of put that in there a bit cheekily really thinking, should that be really nice if we get to make a sequel? So let's kind of put that in there and uh, hopefully it will come about. Had you ever considered that all this is your fault? Your presence creates these animals. <laughs> and then when we moved into City, we knew that that felt like the kind of middle piece of our story. At Rocksteady, we're, we are a one-game studio. We only ever work on one game at a time. And the, the idea behind that was really that we just don't feel that if you spread your talent and resources that you get the best possible game you can. And we're all in the industry to try and make something we can be really proud of. Gate open. Time to bring out the car. For Batman, it wasn't like we sat down on day one and we knew all the answers. You know, we, we had a vision for where we wanted to go, but we didn't know exactly how we were going to get there. And it's, it evolves, any game evolves. And actually one of the great things about game development compared to some other mediums is that there's a lovely evolution of the product. You know, if you're making a film, then you're, you're much more constrained about what you caught on the celluloid when you filmed it. But for games, we can come in one day and be quite dynamic in what, what we do. You know, we've put so much into, into this game, into Arkham Knight, it, it always felt like the culmination of every lesson we'd learned across Asylum and City all come together in this game. So it really felt like that was the end of the trilogy. And I think, you know, we've been working on Batman for a long time. Uh, it'll be about eight and a half years by the time Arkham Knight ships. So the thing that we want to do is make sure that what we do is fresh and exciting and I'm still inspired and genu genuinely privileged to work on the game, but at the same time, you know, for the studio, we feel that like doing something different is the best way to keep us inspired.